There are three main types of continental plate boundaries. You have divergent boundaries, or when they go away from each other. You have boundaries where plates go towards each other. And you have boundaries where plates slide past each other. It's very easy to remember. All you have to do is dance. So, think about it. Do the converge. Do the converge. Do the diverge. Do the diverge. Do the transform. Do the transform. And then you can put it all together. Go! Converge, diverge, transform. Converge, diverge, transform. Converge, diverge, transform. So, something like that. <laughs> well, whatever makes you remember. But either way, let's talk about each one of these boundaries in a little more detail. And as we do so, we'll talk about the features that show up in each one of these boundaries. Here you can see the divergent boundary. We already talked about this extensively when we talked about seafloor spreading. But basically, the features you will see, you will see the mid-ocean ridge, which is a paired a ridge of mountains with a valley in between and that is called the rift valley and in that rift valley you have a a line of volcanoes or basically a crack in the earth's surface to which magma seeps through which punches the rift valley higher than the rest of the abyssal plain and causes this mountain range and around the actual rift you have a fracture zone or a zone where the the ground is actually shattered and that is basically each successive event of the ridge actually having been pushed away by the magma so you see each one of, one of these steps is one time that the ridge was pushed and this will of course takes uh, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of years to happen but over a period of hundreds of thousands of years and finally millions of years eventually you cause seafloor spreading at this now sometimes because this particular piece will actually move slower than this piece will you see that that ridge will, might be misaligned with the ridges next to it and you have these transform faults in between the the each piece of the ridge so you don't have a continuous ridge throughout the bottom of the ocean you have them in slabs which are to the left and to the right of each other but the point is I mean look at it overall you have something at this in the middle of the ocean and this is kind of how it looks when, when it is oceanic already or in other words it's spread enough that an ocean has already been flown flown in between but in the beginning it will look like this all right the magma will try to punch through it will find a soft spot in the continental shelf that very thick continental shelf and it will rise through that, that fault line or that crack and usually these cracks form because two pieces of the continent are being squished together so hard that it forces the, the, the continent to basically crack so basically imagine that the continent is being bulged forced by both sides to converge like this and then it eventually it will cause a, some piece of the continent to crack as it bulges and so as, as it, the magma seeps through that it will, it will bulge the continent even higher up and stretch it even because remember the magma is going to have a divergent zone ha happening here right so that that will stretch this this bulged up continent up and eventually crack it or rip it and then the magma will seep through make new floor and then start spreading and eventually you, you look the oceans will flow in between and eventually you get an oceanic ridge like we talked about before so this is the steps that you see here or in the fracture zone is is the beginning of the formation of the rift valley and eventually you're going to get a, a sea that is the way it looks today in places like places like the atlantic or the indian ocean or the nazca plate in the pacific now because at divergent boundaries large pieces of lithosphere are being pushed away from this divergent zone whenever you drag one of these large pieces and you're causing these things like these fracture zones the folding of the crust and all of those things you're going to have massive earthquakes that sometimes happen every time one of these large movements takes place and so divergent boundaries are also known for their earthquakes and sometimes they even cause large tsunamis in the oceans of the world